Hi peeps, my name is Zena and I am aging ethically. Today it is my great pleasure to share with you a, I guess, a, a first impressions of some products that I bought from a company that I've never purchased from before. The company is called The Lip Bar. It is a vegan, cruelty-free, and paraben-free cosmetic line. This is a Black-owned, independently-owned cosmetic line started by Melissa Butler, a very diverse and all-inclusive cosmetic company, exactly the type of cosmetic company I want to showcase and share on this channel. In addition to the diversity, what I love about this company is that it's all vegan. So it's kind of like going to a vegan restaurant. <laughs> you open up the menu and you can have anything on it and the server asks you what you would like and you say yes. A little background on the company in Melissa's own words, in 2012, I launched the lip bar because everywhere I looked, the media was telling women that beauty looked a certain way. I started the lip bar in my kitchen while working on Wall Street because I was tired of the beauty industry's lack of diversity, lack of inclusion, and excessive amounts of unnecessary chemicals. From her kitchen to 450 Target stores and brick and mortar stores as well, Melissa's company, The Lip Bar, has really blossomed and it's just so wonderful to see the success and progress. Although it's called The Lip Bar, she doesn't only offer lippies. She has a wide range of cosmetics and she also has, and I've never seen this in any other cosmetic company, she sells little makeup kits. The premise of these kits is to make applying makeup simple and fast. Six products for seven minutes of a full face look and you can order these kits based on your complexion. You pick your own foundation and they will pick the other products to match your complexion. I'm fascinated by this and, and I'm going to buy one very soon. I'm going to buy one of these face kits. But for now, I bought three different formulas of the Lip Bar Lippies. I bought two of the mattes, one lip gloss and one lipstick. Came to me in a package like this. It says the lip bar on it. Very chic, I love it. It comes with this card from the lip bar. It says unintimidating beauty for all shades. This is Melissa Butler, the founder, looking gorgeous. And on the back, she has, these look like the glosses and she has a list of ingredients and a little bit of information about the product itself. So these are the lippies, you guys. I have two mattes, I have a lip gloss, and of course I have lipstick. One of the things that stands out to me with this company too is the packaging, and I'll show you what I mean in a moment. This is the lipstick formula, you guys. Isn't that neat? I absolutely love the packaging. Very original. I have not seen any other company <laughs> with this type of packaging and I love it so, so much. There it is. This is like a metallic a bronzy shade, which my mother loved lipsticks like this. And I thought of her when I purchased this one. Ooh, very creamy, very pigmented. Oh, I love the formula of this. It's very, very creamy, but light. Very faint, faint scent to it. You could barely detect. And again, this is just so cute. I absolutely adore this packaging. So what's important to me as a mature lady when I'm buying lippies is that they don't bleed or feather into my fine lines and wrinkles. And I can usually tell immediately if a product is going to do that. This lipstick formula, Creamy, is not bleeding into my fine lines and wrinkles. And ooh, love that, big win. This product is not drying down. Of course, this is a cream lipstick. So after eating or smooching, you will probably have to reapply this, but I absolutely adore it. My lips feel moisturized and I'm really excited that I started with this. Next, I'm going to try the lip gloss. I, you know, I wanted to order some 
nice neutrals, but I wanted to get some bold shades as well, because why not? Life is too short for boring colors. <laughs> so this is the lip gloss formula. This is in the shade Control Freak. Yes, it's kind of pumpkin-y as we're going in to fall season. <laughs> I am starting my pumpkin everything fascination a little early, but I, I just was drawn to this color. I find it fascinating. It is a, it's like a bright orange shade and let us try it. Again, packaging super cute and twist the cap off. And we have a nice little doe foot wand. Again, a very faint fragrance to it. Now, <laughs> I have an interesting time with glosses once again, because a lot of lip glosses tend to really settle into fine lines and wrinkles and they do it quite quickly. So I tend to not buy lip gloss formulas anymore. Ooh, guys, wow. I tell you what, this is a delightful, delightful formula. I can tell immediately if a lip gloss is going to bleed. This one is not. This is a very light and airy formula. I can barely feel it on my lips. It's a very moisturizing and it, I can, oh, it's just, it's, it's really delightful. I enjoy this thoroughly and I will be using this <laughs> quite often this fall. I'm going to backtrack for a second and that first metallic copper lipstick that I tried, that was in shade Cancelled. And of course, this is Control Freak. Let's move on. You guys, I was very excited to try this particular matte. This is obviously a purple. I love how vibrant this is. You don't see lip products in this shade in the stores. And I'm just so excited. I can't wait. This is Crown Me. Okay. Again, the packaging on top, very unique. Love it. Ooh. Now this is shorter than before I try it out. <laughs> Sorry. That was a little bit of a tease. See how the, the lip gloss is taller it seems as though there is a little more product in it let's see the lip gloss this is let's see here 0.31 ounces or nine grams the matte liquid lipstick is 0.24 ounces and 6.8 grams so you get more product in the lip gloss than you do in the liquid lip and the lipstick is a standard size lipstick this is 0.12 ounces or 3.5 grams of product. So let's get into this lovely shade Crown Me. Oh, so excited, especially for fall. This is going to be really fun to play with during Halloween. And oh, let's, I'm so excited. I, I've only applied a very little bit of this, but I can already tell it is super light. Like I cannot feel this on my lips right now at all. <laughs> that was one dunk. I'm gonna go in for just a little bit more. I thought this was going to be brighter than it is. Like it's darker on me than it is in the tube, which is a great thing because it's very wearable. Like I would actually wear this out. I would wear this to the store uh, quite proudly. I think it is absolutely stunning. This is an absolutely gorgeous shade of purple. And oh, I, I love this. I'm in love with this shade. I'm so happy right now. Now it is drying down quite quickly, so you want to be careful with your application. Very little transfer and it is still drying down. It's taking just moments to dry. I'm not seeing any feathering, of course. Usually matte liquid lipsticks are pretty good for not feathering or bleeding on mature lips. And this product does not disappoint. I have very textured lips, which I have like 
a lot of wrinkles in my lips. They're not smooth. And you know, it's, it's trendy to have big, full, supple, wrinkle-free lips right now. A lot of people get injections and whatnot. I am not one of those people. I have very natural lips and there are a lot of lines on my lips. And I have tried so many formulas, so many brands of liquid lipsticks, and I have to do this trick and this technique every single time because of the lines on my lips. So once the shade dries down first, I go back in and I pull my lips taut and then I apply again. Kind of looks a little silly and then I let it dry. The product dries within the texture of my lips. So this formula is performing quite nicely. I absolutely love it. I love the shade and I'm going to keep these lippies very close to me in the next few months going into fall. I'm going to grab a little bit of olive oil and remove this so I can try on my final shade. This is my go-to. This is my favorite shade of lipstick to buy. Any kind of deep red toned lippy uh, I am instantly drawn to. This is shade Brick House. I wish I could play the song Brick House because I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking of it right now, but I can't. Uh, so I'm just gonna apply this little product with the song playing in my mind. Ooh, yes. A really deep, rich, brick toned red. Oh, just gorgeous. So light. I don't even feel this uh, product on my lips right now. I have discovered a brand new company to love. I love their diversity. I love the inclusivity. I love the shade range. I love the packaging. The price point is reasonable. The gloss is $14. You do get a lot of product here. The mattes are $13. And the lipstick, the creamy lipstick, is also $13 as well. There are lots of bundle deals and there are lots of sales on the lipbar.com as well. I was able to get these on sale on National Lipstick Day. And so I got a nice little sweet little deal on these products right here. Do check out the website, do check out Instagram, see if maybe a Target near you carries the lip bar and you can go and buy them in person. You will not be disappointed. I am so excited today and I am so honored to share these products with you. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Happy shopping and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Hehehehe <laughs>